CTS Connects. I'm Kelly Goral with Hampton City Schools. We've got an exciting show ahead of us today as we are going to learn all about Run for the Stage 5K. And we have Joy Charbonneau and Carla Mon with us, so welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. And you all are both with Hampton City Schools, mm -hmm. but you also are on the committee for Run for the Stage 5K, correct? Correct. Yes. All right, so tell us all about what is Run for the Stage 5K? Run for the Stage 5K is a 5K run, walk, fun run, team run to raise money for scholarships to our students who will be attending community college. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So you said it could be a run, it could be a jog, it could be a walk, it could be just something to go out and have some you fun. You can crawl as long as you finish. As you long don't even have to come. You can just do it virtually. You can actually just sign up for the virtual portion, um, pay your entrance fee, be automatically entered in all the draws, be able to support the students and the graduates, and run at your own leisure anytime you want. Oh wow, so there's different opportunities yes. for this event We as want well. to make it for everybody. Well, and this is not the first run for the stage for. Correct, this, this is the fourth, fourth year, four, fourth year. Four. Um, it started um, in 2015, and we wanted to provide some funds for our students who wanted to attend community college. Although community college is more affordable, uh, it still costs, and we wanted to support those students who made the decision to, to go that route as opposed to a four-year school. So this was kind of a, a brainstorming piece from Hampton City Schools as far as how to support our students past that graduation. Yes. So the first year, how have we grown? Because I did participate last year. It was a ton of fun. That was my first year, even though it was the third annual, um, and I'm very much looking forward to this year as well. But, but there was a large crowd out there last year. So yes. how has that grown since it yes. first started? Well, in terms of scholarship growth, the first year we provided five $1,000 scholarships uh, to students, one student at each high school and the Alternative Learning Center. The following year we provided 10 $1,000 scholarships. Wow. And that was for two students at each school and the Alter Alternative Learning Center. The third year, we had the opportunity to provide those 10 scholarships again. But in addition to that, we had enough money to provide some renewable scholarships of $500 to the students who had received the scholarship the year prior. And so this year, we are going to do that again. We are going to hopefully offer 10 $1,000 scholarships and eight 10. 10 renewable scholarships, $500 renewable scholarships. Well, that's excellent. $15,000. Yes. $15,000. So that's a lot of support, not just from staff, but from families, the community, sponsors. I mean, that's a lot. A lot goes into it, and there is so much support, it's overwhelming. Uh, our sponsors, we couldn't do it without. We've got some big sponsors. Uh, GCA, which is now ABM, has always been a mainstream sponsor. Um, cell phone tower again showed up this year with another $5,000 check um, and then we have our PTA or um, Hampton Education Association uh, we had a school last year roll their pennies and donated to run for the stage which was a $238 um, and that gets them on our t-shirt and it gets them on our website and acknowledge um, but without them and the participants um, each year we've grown the first year we started, we actually did better than anybody thought. Uh, even the race uh, people that run the race for us were surprised at how many we had show up. We had 166 people uh, register and 109 showed up. Um, for the first year? The first year. Then the next year was one of our biggest ones. We had um, 248 people register and 175 showed up. And then last year we did still well. We had 257 people register and uh, 195 or 175 people showed up. Um, a lot do the virtual so that they can run it, but they don't, you know, we understand commitments. Not, not everybody can come on the day of the race, but they still want to show their support. So, and in terms of dollars raised, um, the first year we started with $11,500, which blew us all away. The next year we went to 16,100, and then last year was $21,688, and that's our goal for this year, but it's a good goal. That's, that's a hefty goal, but um, we've got the support, so we hope to make it achievable. So we've talked all about this Run for the Stage and the great opportunity for our young people for these scholarships, but when is the Run for the Stage, and, and where is this happening so that people can sign up? 
Good question. It is June 1st and it will be at Madison Trail um, on Butler Farm Road. And registration, if you haven't registered before the race, registration begins at 8? Yep. So you and can register the day of. Yes. yes. Same day registration. You can do it online. We have a website. If you go, um, just type in Hampton City Schools um, run for the stage, it'll pull up our website or we'll have a link on uh, Hampton City School website. We have a Facebook page and we also have a Twitter account. So we are out there. Um, you can download the application online, print it, uh, fill it, complete it, mail it in to me with the registration entry or you can do it online through active.com. There is a fee required. <gasps> Which I is what I did. So excited. I was like, this is what I did. I downloaded my application online, actually two, yep. and brought it today with my check so that um, I can show that my daughter and I will be participating. So with yeah. this, this <laughs> right here. What does that get me? <laughs> oh my goodness, there's just too much. We Besides, only have 10 tons minutes. tons of fun so. on June 1st. All right. so. Every year, too, we've tried to grow the race with means of what we've added to the race. Um, you know, the first year was ribbons and so on. Then we added the renewable scholarships. This is our fourth. We're going with the fourth. So this year, we have added, um, in each category, an overall male and female top three and each ca age category, the top three will get first, second, and third medals, which is new this year. Mm -hmm. Every runner that participates, even the virtual runners that participate in our run for the stage and register will get this beautiful new to us um, finishers medal. As you come across the run, um, one of our little volunteers will help and put it around your neck and it's a keepsake that you can bring home and show what you accomplished today. My nine-year-old daughter would love that. Yes, and it has what the race is for and all that. Now, the other exciting thing, and this is my area of excitement, is there's prizes. Always, always prizes. We get great um, door prizes from our sponsors. Uh, Girls on the Run, they've already committed to giving us a beautiful Girls on the Run basket. Um, and I'm, I'm looking at this beautiful 43-inch uh, smart TV that is going to go home to one of the lucky registers. Um, and why I say register, because you don't necessarily have to be there that day and participate in the run, but if you come and register online, paper-wise, however, you'll be automatically be entered into the um, prize to win that big screen TV. And when are they pulling that? They pull it at, as right as we do the awards. Um, the run will start at 9. Uh, we allow for an hour for the 5K. 10 o'clock we Ooh, start. I hope I can make it in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> we start the prizes and the awards sharply at 10 o'clock right after we do the fun run. So, um, And the last thing I'm really excited about is our team spirit. And this year, new to us, the most participated. This is the beautiful, I mean, highly I'm sought after. Trophy beside us. Beside us. <laughs> it is so well designed. And I mean, the meticulous detail that went into making this, um, it, it, it's so sought after. It was one very soundly last year by a, a, a well-deserving team who has acknowledged that they want to win it again this year. Um, but we're hoping to have some other teams give them a run for the money. And that is just most spirit. Decorations, um, costumes, loud. loud. Be, uh, I asked the people who judge this, um, tell me the team that you can think of right away when I say who is the most spirited on there. And this year we also uh, wanted the biggest team. We have 23 elementaries, five middle schools, and four high schools. We want to create the most participated team. Um, so just get all, you know, get you your departments also. Oh, departments, cheerle cheerleaders, anybody can do it. Um, and we want to get the most participated, could be the most participated school, most participated team. It's up to you however you want to do it. And it's still a great day, great fun for a great cause. When you didn't mention the t-shirt, and I see the t-shirt on. <laughs> so will t-shirts also be part of this this year? Thank you for asking, because this is a step up. We have had three beautiful cotton t-shirts up to this point, which are nice, but it's hot on June 1st. This year, dry wick t-shirts. All the big races offer dry wick t-shirts, and HCS Run for the Stage is no exception. So we are stepping up in our game. All the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, but to guarantee a t-shirt, when do you need to register by? May 10th is a guaranteed date. It's not to say that we won't have t-shirts, but uh, if it's anything like the past, last year we did run out, we had a lot of same day registration. So we want to make sure that it's same day registration, or pardon me, guaranteed registration date for, uh, for the t-shirt and the finishers medals. We only have so many. Um, so if you register by May 10th, 
you'll be guaranteed one. You can still register after May 10th and take the chance of getting one, but you're still in the door prizes, you still get to be the most spirited award, uh, and you still are able to support the students. So 5K. 3.2 mi miles? 3.1. 3.1. I was close. Don't add 0.2. Don't add, I want to add another yeah. point 0.1. But, um, so 3.1 miles. Mm -hmm. But when we have our littlest runners, there's another opportunity for them, correct? We have the fun run. One of my favorite parts of the race, um, we have a finishing line and we line them all up. There's a part on the course that we can line them up and they all run down there. And there's no winner because they all win. Um, they all will get participation uh, ribbons for being there. But just to see their joy when they cross the finish line is pretty spectacular. So. Now, Carly, you were there last year, correct? I was. Now, and at the end, after this finishing line, there's kind of a big celebration afterwards. Tell us a little bit about everything that goes on once everybody finishes. Well, we have a DJ, and so there's music that is played before we begin. Um, there's music that's played during the race and afterwards. And so everyone's so excited that they've completed the race. They start dancing. Um, they were. I can, they I they can, were. I can confirm that. We had a nice big block party. And um, that's also the time where we award the scholarship checks. And so the scholarship recipients, we ask them to come to the race. Oh, and they get a nice big check with their name on it and we snap some pictures of that as well. Is there something that our scholarship um recipients need to do beforehand? How do they apply for that? Yes, to apply for the scholarship, the students would have to log into their Naviance account under scholarships, and it's the HCS Run for the Stage Scholarship. Excellent, so and it's and anyone it's that's an going to a community college application. can go in to Naviance and apply for that. Yes. So they need to probably do that now. Yes, yes. In order to, to be selected for the June 1st when they would receive the checks. Yes, and the deadline for that is May 15th Okay. for them to apply. Perfect. So that's coming up soon, yes. May 15th. Yes. All right, so big event. It's mm -hmm. grown a couple hundred people. They can do it virtually or they can show up the day of. They can register now. They can register the morning of at 8 a.m. because we don't start till 9. It's on June 1st. What else are we missing? We've got giveaways. We've got the spirit. Well, with the giveaways, too, you don't have to be there to win. So if you register and for whatever reason you can't make it the day up, you're still entitled to your finisher medal if you've registered by May 10th. You'll still get your swag bag. We didn't talk about the swag bags, but swag bags. Um, and you're still registered in all the prizes. Um, but it's just a great opportunity to give someone that may not have had the opportunity to go to a community college um, the opportunity. and. Do it by doing it fun, it's just even more beneficial for us. And it's obviously a large event, so you need volunteers to help pull this off. So tell us about the volunteers. Volunteers is an essential to any part of our um, putting on the race, the day of the race, setting up. During the race, we need people at the water stations. We need course marshals. We need cheerleaders. We need music. Um, at the end of the race, presenting the medals um, to the participants, uh, help passing out the awards, door prizes, dancing. Uh, another thing with the DJ, you can request a song that you would dance to. So volunteers are essential, and we will have an online sign-up sheet on our website um, for any of those particular positions. Um, and we'll also get swag bag info and materials and freebies too. So volunteers are, you'll know why I'm saying this later, but volunteers are very <laughs> important um, to I'll anybody. Say Joy always has a motive. There's, so there's a motive, a motive why, why she keeps saying Sorry. volunteers. Volunteers. <laughs> I think we're good. All right. Well, I am looking forward to June 1st. Um, I've encouraged even the staff here to hopefully participate. I don't, uh, you know, like I said, even if you can crawl across. That's right. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Yep. But looking forward to it. It was a great event last year, and I'm sure it's going to be wonderful this year. We are excited. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on HCS Connects. In the meantime, stay connected with us. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter. Jump over to our website or even Peg TV. Thanks and have a great day.